All right, if you're one of the many Canadians who is now working remotely, you may be excited to wear pajamas all day and not commute in traffic, but you may not be as thrilled to spend every waking hour of the day <laughs> with your partner or children. Joining us this morning is psychotherapist and relationship expert Allison Villa with tips on keeping all of your relationships healthy, yes. as healthy as they can be during this time. Good morning, Allison. Good morning. How are you coping? First things first, <laughs> sweet Allison. Well, we have two kids at home and it's an adjustment for all of us, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. So let's get right to these tips because I love them all. The first tip is daily evening check-in. What does that look like? How do you flush that out? Why are we doing that? Okay, so when you have parents who are working from home, whether it's one parent or both, we are trying to do our best at all the things right now, at work and also at parenting. So we need to help each other with that. We need to look at the schedule for the next day and say, okay, let's block off this time for you to work. And while you're working, I am gonna be with the kids, 100% focused in the moment, enjoying them, and you're going to have quality, productive work time. And then you switch. And you've talked about doing some solo time and scheduling that for everybody in the family. Absolutely. The foundation of every healthy relationship is having consistent self-care, having a strong sense of who you are, especially right now. And we want to help our partners take that solo restorative time. Okay. You also say tip number three, more, uh, sorry, less screen time, rather <laughs> more real life. So how do we do that? So this is a great time to start new habits and create new practices as a family. So set boundaries on your news consumption and your social media and enjoy being in the moment and starting new rituals with your family. You've talked about, you know, you started to mention there setting those boundaries. Uh, what else are you setting boundaries on with? Is it just the screen time? Is it, you know, uh, outdoors time? Is it news? What is it all? This is such a time of creating the life and I think making new choices that are going to be right for you. So maybe setting boundaries on your own wellness and how you want to be more intentional moving forward. This is a great time to really get clear on that as a couple and as a family. It's so true because typically yeah. we're so busy and we're like, there's no time to do anything. This is such a time to gear down reflect, set goals, tend to projects maybe mm -hmm. that you've abandoned and really look for quality time instead of constantly just consuming things that are maybe getting you down and then yeah. you get a headache, you're watching too many shows one after another. Like, don't just rely on the screens. You say, get outside. How do we do that safely? Absolutely. And of course, following all of the guidelines and social distancing, that might look like you getting outside in your backyard if you have that. That might look like going for a walk around the block. Kids need to expend their energy. It's really, really important. Uh, otherwise, we're all going to go bunkers <laughs> inside. <laughs> so finding ways to get out into nature, especially, but always keeping that social distance, of course. And you know, it, it is times of un uncertainty and there's that gratefulness that we need to practice. And, and you mentioned that. What is that? exactly for everybody so having a daily gratitude practice has has shown in research to improve determination energy and enthusiasm which is something we all can use especially right now so that can look as simple as before you go to bed every night saying three things that you're grateful for or if you want to include your kids doing that first thing in the morning at the dinner table that would be a great homeschool activity get them to write it down or draw it out depending on how old your kids are Okay, so speaking of the kids, mm -hmm. I mean, it's inevitable. You're cooped up. They start <laughs> squabbling. They're scrapping it out. Maybe you find you're pushing buttons with your roommates or your partner. What do you do to get through those bumps? It's all about being preventative and having those conversations with your partner ahead of time because when we're under stress, we are not able to regulate our emotions the way we usually are. That goes for parents as well as for kids. So I encourage parents to have that conversation with each other to anticipate meltdown moments and hey, how can I help you when those moments happen? What do you need at that time? And what do you notice your kids need in those moments? Have the talk ahead of time because for sure, meltdowns are going to happen. Just expect it and take the judgment out of them as well. See, as you just did, yeah. she carved out time by herself in yeah. that room. <laughs> yeah. Family, I got to go talk to the rest of the world right now. And for that, we are grateful. Houseandhook.com for more information. Love to your family. Thank you, Allison. Ciao. Ciao.